How to create a simple process control chart using Excel. I'm your narrator, Clint Burdett. In row one, we enter the titles, time, target, warning, and provision for three data series, and we color that area gray. I then colored row 25 gray with fill, leaving a blank line above it for the data series you see here. The target is 66, the warning is 33, and the data series is 74. To create the chart, select the data from the first data entries down to the gray line on row 25. Go to Insert tab, Line Chart, this selection, and the chart will appear on your page. Later, you'll want to export the chart to folks. So let's use a letterbox 16.9 format and put it on a separate Excel tab. Right click on the chart in an unoccupied area. Select Move To. Move it to one of the sheets. Drag the chart to the upper left hand corner of the spreadsheet. Right click on any unoccupied area in the chart and we'll set the size. Select Size. 16.9 is the letterbox format, 16 wide. We'll use for height, 4.5, and, and for the width, 8. Once you've done that, lock the aspect ratio and close the dialog. To adjust the size, click on the chart again, right click, chart area, and use percentages this time. For titles, click on the chart so that Excel opens the chart tools. Click on Design, then Data Series. On the horizontal axis, to replace 1 through 24 with the dates, click Edit, go to the Data tab, and select the dates from the top date down to the gray line. Next, I'm going to title the series, Series 1, 2, and 3. Going back to Data Source, click on the series, Edit, and the first one is the target. Click on Series 2, the red line. This is the warning. Click on Series 3, Edit, and I'm going to call that KPI. To make the green line discrete data rather than continuous data, click on it, right click, and format. For line color, click No Line. And for marker, pick one that you like. Close the dialog to give us as much space on the chart as we can. Click on the left hand axis numbers. Since 80 is the highest number and there's one band above the blue line, We'll use 20 as a low number. So for minimum, click Fixed and add 20. For maximum, click Fixed and make sure it stays 80. Click OK, and we have our control chart. To add more data, click on the Data tab. Go to the blank line in row 24, select the entire row, right click, Insert, and the new data. Bring down the target and the warning. Control D brings the same numbers down to the cells you selected and put in the new data point. I like to title the sheet based on the chart that I'm looking at. Double click on sheet, type in chart, and save your work. Thanks for listening.